What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review, and it is on the long-awaited, highly anticipated WWE Elite Series 103 Street Profits. Now, if you guys are aware, the Elite 81 Street Profits were legendary for all the wrong reasons. I'm talking those figures suck. Uh, I mean, Montez Ford isn't that bad, okay? It's not, it's not egregiously horrible. But the damn Angelo Dawkins, Brad, that figure is one of my least favorite Mattel action figures ever made. Holy Christ, what a terrible figure. But today, he is revitalized. Today, Angelo Dawkins is finally redeemed. And we saw it back in LA at WrestleMania Axis, WrestleMania 39 at the Superstore. What a day it was to witness that figure, and we finally have it in our hands. I'm so excited to get into the review, man. Here is the front viewing window. These figures look aesthetically incredible. You got their Miami Vice style gear on. Montez Ford rocking Kobe's number. Angelo Angelo Dawkins rocking LeBron's number. This is sick as hell, man. As a massive basketball fan, I legitimately have a Kobe tattoo on my arm. This is a wonderful sight, and I'm so excited to get into this. I love Montez Ford. I mean, I love Angelo Dawkins. This is one of my favorite tag teams in the universe. This, this, this is a great day, man. Let's get into it. So here's your front viewing window with Montez Ford. You guys can see the jersey on there, and there's no Velcro on here, man. No Velcro on this jersey. There's a shot on the back there. Rest of the figures in the wave. We got a pretty good wave, man. Pretty good wave going on here we have Angelo Dawkins over here as well screaming head sculpt yes but I still think it's gonna get the job done there he is there Angelo Dawkins Angelo Dawkins on the side and then of course Angelo Dawkins on the back and the rest of the stuff going on man but I don't want to wait any longer man let's crack these guys out of their packaging find out what the street profits are all about and see if they truly do redeem themselves from their elite 81 counterpart so here are the profits of the streets on the rotating base, man. I'm, I, I mean, these figures are just as damn good as I thought they would be, man. I really am blown away with these, but of course, we're not going to know those things until we dive into the details of these and get into them and break them down, man. But holy smoke a lowly smacks. I don't even know what the hell I just said. These figures are badass, man. They Like, cut and dry. Really enjoy these. Are they perfect, though? Do they complete it all and bring it all together? We're going to find out here today, man. Let's dive into it. Let's start off with Montez Ford's accessories and Montez Ford, and then we'll get into Angelo Dawkins' accessories and Angelo Dawkins. So I think I literally just said that we would cover one guy's accessories, then the other guy's accessories, but this is a tag team, damn it. And when we review tag teams, we always cover their accessories together, and then we review their figures back to back because they are a tag team. They come in a unit. That's the way the cookie crumbles, man. But let's get into these accessories. So I think the biggest deal, man, are these cloth goods jerseys. I mean, these are unbelievable. As a sports fan, as a massive basketball fan, Man, as a Street Profits guy, as a Kobe guy. Shoe collection, just a mad, one of the biggest Kobe fans you'll find out there, man. This Kobe Street Profits Montez Ford jersey is just sick as hell, man. The colors, the pinstripes, I mean, you got the MDT colors in there. Street Profits across the front, 24, of course, like we talked about. And then on the back, it does say Ford. No Velcro on here. Just truly legendary stuff, man. This is legendary stuff going on with these Street Profits. I mean, these. this is some of the best accessories work that Mattel has done. Now, one thing is, you can't tuck it in, right? In the in the matchups, they would remove them sometimes, but sometimes when they did wrestle in them, they would tuck their jerseys in like the, you know, any NBA or college basketball player. Any any basketball player that has played an organized game, you know that you tuck your jersey in, so you can't really tuck the jersey in, which is a thing, but both of these are incredible, and one thing I'm noticing is, I think they are the exact same size. I don't think Angelo Dawkins is bigger, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks like it may be a little bit wider here. It's it's hard to tell. But I think I, can, I think I could say that. It does look like it's a little bit bigger there. So that's also an added extra detail. The jersey actually is bigger. They made Montez Fords a little bit like tighter and leaner and fit than Angelo Dawkins because Angelo Dawkins is a bigger guy, which they could have easily just made them the exact same size, put different numbers on them and called it a day. But they did go the extra mile and it even has Dawkins on there. Got the six for LeBron. And I think that's pretty cool how they have like Kobe and LeBron paying homage there. So that is pretty badass, man. It, these are great. And they have the white on the inside, so it's not going to stain it. I hope this is the future. I'd love to see them fully transition to this for cloth goods accessories, but we will have to wait and see on that. Now, outside of that, Montez Ford also comes with a chain necklace, a gold chain necklace, which is really cool. It's kind of weird because in his promo shot, he's got two necklaces on, a long version and a short version. We have plenty of necklaces you could fix that up with, but it is cool to have this. We've seen this multiple times on Stone Cold and guys like that, but this is a cool addition. And how would it be the Street Profits without their red solo? cup, which I feel like this is honestly kind of small.
off a red solo cup but I, I guess it is accurate you know it doesn't have the white rim or anything I almost feel like that might be I guess trademark technically I, I don't know about that but it does say King Tez on it for King Montez so that is pretty cool there you got the red solo cup we saw that with his elite 81 figure then you do also get his glasses here which look really cool so you have the gold and black glasses here I feel like these are a bit small but they still look fine on the figure as you guys will see later or as you guys have already seen and then with Angelo you also get the double headband which we saw on his elite 81 figure as well but it does say humble one in blue and then on the pink one it says smoke season SZN for season there and then it says humble one so that's pretty cool and uh you know he wears like the dual headband deal so that looks pretty cool I do believe this is the exact same mold we saw on his elite 81 figure though and then for interchangeable hands you do get fisted hands for your Montez Ford figure you get the wide open you can't see me style hands for your Montez Ford figure and then they don't ever give him mic holding hands for some reason but you do get like your red solo cup slash choke slamming style hands which I guess works but I'd like to see some mic holding hands but I'm sure I got some somewhere in the collection in this skin tone and then for Angelo Dawkins you get mic holding hands in the same Angelo Dawkins skin tone and then you do get the Kawhi Leonard ricochet I guess the Kawhi Leonard style hands actually work for this figure specifically considering the basketball uniforms I guess these work for Kawhi Leonard but you get the ricochet Kawhi Leonard hand shaking entrance yelling style hands all right, man, so starting out with Angelo Dawkins, I like this head sculpt as far as a screaming head sculpt. You guys know that I always give figures a hard time when they're yelling, like, why are you yelling? You know, I, I get it, but I still think the likeness is there. I think it does look like him. I like the beard here. I think it looks like Angelo Dawkins. You know, I'm not getting any weirdness there. Headband looks good on there. The haircut and the fade. I mean, they gave this man a clean fade. Look at that sculpt right there. They did a great job on that, and I wanted to show that off before putting the headband back on, but I also just wanted to show you guys what he looks like without the jersey on, because we already saw him with the jersey. I'll put it back on for comparisons and stuff like that, but I like this torso for Angelo Dawkins, you know? Angelo Dawkins is a thick boy, but he uh, he's still in shape. I think, you know, he's a good athlete, moves around great in the ring, and I like, I mean, are these arms appropriate? Maybe not. I feel like these arms may be a little bit jacked, but I still like it. I think the proportions are good, and I'd like to see this torso used for Solo Sokoa. I think they could get away with that if they wanted to do that, but it is cool. He has the white, you know, rubber band or bracelet here, and then he does have the blue one on this side. I wish they would have given him like the short black sleeve and maybe a fix up we can do we'll, we'll check into that and maybe give him some smaller arm we'll, we'll see we'll look at it definitely you know when we get to surgery but going down to the basketball shorts it does say Dawkins right here now there was two different versions they had versions with their last names and then they also had a version with street profits in pink which is really badass I mean I think in all honesty I think chases of Angelo and Montez would have been perfect for this set can you imagine having like two chases in the set you know they do two chases sometimes like randomly this would have been the set to do it. Instead of two Stardust, give us give us some other jerseys. And like they've worn basketball. I think they did the Knicks one time. This is obviously inspired by the Miami Heat with the Miami Vice Unis. I mean, their number font in this uniform is literally the Miami Heat font from their jerseys. So the pinstripes look good, the blue and pink. I think they could have done these guys as chases, but then going down to the lower legs, they do have like their black tights underneath. They are pinless, which is fine, I guess. I, I would have liked to see no pin like with pins. That way I could like like put some different lower legs on here but they do have that nice white line going down and then they do have the Cena shoe mold which I absolutely hate however you know I, I still think that uh, it gets the job done and the shoes are accurate they actually did wear shoes that were very similar to this but as far as articulation is concerned you know he doesn't have a ball hinge so he can't you know look down but, but the ab crunch is good you know the double jointed arms are fantastic I will say his waist feels a little bit loose compared to a normal figure and then his thigh cut eh, I guess it's not like super loose but it is it I may be on average a little bit looser than normal or more loose. He is on ball joints. Angelo Dawkins is actually on ball joints. I'm pretty sure these guys use the exact same leg mold, but these guys are on ball joint. Like, they feel good in hand. They move around fantastic. I'm pretty damn impressed with these Street Profits, man. But that is your Angelo Dawkins figure. Now let's get into Montez Ford before we do comparison. So getting into Montez Ford, this is the exact same head sculpt we saw in his last figure, which we always made the joke that, like, his last figure looked a bit high. But they did address the fade problem. Like, last time they didn't give him a fade at all. They gave him a semi fade here before the bottom where it's nothing but I think on surgery I'm either gonna repaint this head sculpt or I'm gonna put the Elite 81 repainted head sculpt onto this figure because I think I like the longer beard better than the you know the Jalen Hurts style cut but Montez Ford does look like Jalen Hurts you know me and my brother always joke about it I think they do favor for sure but going down he does have like the ricochet torso which I think works the double jointed arms black wrist tape all of his tattoos look good on here got Ford on the trunks instead of Dawkins or on the uh on the shorts there which look really good i mean dude this the, these figures just kick all the ass right now i'm really enjoying these but they have the exact same leg mold the pinstripes the montez ford on there same shoes and again the 
these shoes are accurate. This is pretty much what their shoes looked like. Like you can guys can see on the back of the packaging. But his articulation is virtually the exact same as Angelo Dawkins, except he has a tighter waist, I would say. But uh, yeah, this the, these figures are are very fun to to move around right now. I'm having a lot of fun. But let's get into some Street Profits figure comparisons. All right, guys. So for your figure comparisons, here is our new Street Profits up next to the old Elite 81s. And Jesus Christ, man. I mean, are we looking at the same freaking figures? Montez Ford, not that much different. I mean, you guys can tell that they are a little bit shorter because of the upper legs that they use. Like, Montez Ford is 6'1", and Angelo Dawkins is 6'5". You're not getting that big difference in height here between the two like you did on the old ones. However, I mean, good lord in heaven, man. You guys can see what I'm talking about on the hair, though. I did, like, you see, like, I had to repaint this. I, 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 I think we did that on surgery. I, like, custom painted this head sculpt because it made, I, I don't know, I guess it, they're not bad head sculpts. He just looks high as a kite. But then the Dawkins, man. Look at that right there, man. I think if you put this head sculpt over here, it would be too big. But look at the ginormousness. I mean, dude, this is crazy. Those big-ass shorts. Man's a mountain. Lord in heaven. But now it's all over. Because now we have the new one, and it all, all is right in the world. Huh. <sighs> I want to throw this out in the yard again. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 103 Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford Street Profits figures, man. In the middle of this review, I went and bought another set on Ringside Collectibles. That's how damn good they are. That's how impressive I find these to be. I mean, they, they are truly incredible, immaculate figures. I think that these guys are good. It's going to be hard to keep these guys out of my top 10 for the year. These cloth goods jerseys, the pinstripe gear, the Miami Vice, the fact that I love the Street Profits. The only thing making these guys completely perfect for me is just the lack of lower leg rotation and the shoe mold, the John Cena shoe mold. But those things considered, and you guys know I despise those things, right? Those are two of my biggest figure pet peeves when it comes to Mattel and wrestling action figures. If these guys had lower leg rotation of some kind and different shoes, even though the shoes are accurate, the shoes are accurate. These are the, like, the this shoe mold is very, very similar to how their shoes actually were when they rocked this gear on WWE television. These guys are just so good, man. All the pros outweigh the cons. I love the, the gear. They picked the perfect gear. I think Mattel nailed it. They adjusted Angelo Dawkins. They fixed him. He is no longer looking like Braun Strowman. He looks like an athlete. Poses around well. These figures feel really good in hand. Angelo Dawkins does feel like his, his thigh swivel feels a little loose than normal. And his waist feels a little bit more loose than probably the normal figure. But at the end of the day, these figures are badass, man. I, I love these. I genuinely love these figures. And they are great. I am blown the hell away by these. And they're just as good as they looked when I saw them at the Superstore. I fully endorse these. Go grab these. guy. If you guys enjoy the Street Profits, I think these are badass Mattel figures. And they, they certainly crush their first go-around. So you definitely want to go grab these, man. Go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10 percent. Mattel has truly outdone themselves with these figures, but that is going to wrap up my full review of Elite Series 103 Street Profits. I love these guys. I mean, these guys, the Bucks and the Usos are my probably my top three teams. No specific order. I feel like it changes, you know, every single day, but they, these are truly immaculate and you need to go grab them. But before we get out of here, man, huge shout out to the MDT patrons. Always appreciate their support. They are the GOAT. If you guys are interested in becoming patrons of the MDT YouTube channel, check out the link in the description below. Pro Wrestling Tees slash My Damn Toys for merch. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you in the next video. And we want the smoke, damn it.